in a that tutorial we will create a scene like this. I want to show you how to create a possible scene for an explainer video. This will be our scene, the colors are weird, the design isn't, so let's head into the tutorial and I'll show you everything step by step. Hello and welcome in this tutorial. I want to show you here how to build a 2D scene for explainer videos. So I went to flat icon and I downloaded a few icons. So we have something to populate the slide with and I downloaded into one folder. And I downloaded it into one folder. I have a window, uh, a picture, a clock. We could of course some bookshelves or add some additional elements like flowers. And we have also, and we also have one person to put here. We downloaded this from Freepik. So I'll just take everything and I'll drop it into PowerPoint because I would like to have this close by. So let me make this smaller. Oh, of course, all those should be smaller as well. I see one of the images is, it was very small. This is a bit weird. So what can we do uh, to separate one person? I would like only one pose of of this this person. She looks like Velma from, from Scooby-Doo and I'll crop her. I'll click on crop by selecting format and I'll crop her down to one pose. Okay. Now we have all the elements prepared on this slide. So how can you build a scene if you plan to do an explainer video? The easiest possible way is to right click, select format background and select one color for the main part, which will be the background. I will select more fill colors. I'll go to custom and this will be the color of our wall. Let's say that I'll go a bit crazy and I'll make a reddish, maybe slightly towards pink wall. Okay, this would be my background wall and I need to separate the floor here. For that, I go to insert shapes I'll insert a rectangle shape. Like this, I'll extend it to the entire floor. Now, a floor usually has a gray color or a brownish color, depending on what type of floor this is. And this wall might not work with it. So I'll go to the colors and I'll start out simple with a gray and see how this looks together. Of course, you need to select this shape, select the outline and select no outline on this object. Okay, so far so good. This could basically be the room that we are creating. One more trick you can do to make this like more realistic. You take the existing floor, you control C and control V it. You put it on top of this floor. You make this smaller just to make this and you take a darker color that you used previously. All right, here we have a nice separation between the floor, floor area and the background wall. Okay, so let me take now all the elements I've prepared and see if this looks okay together. If not, we can always change the color of the background because maybe I overdone it and we see our first problems. But in order to make this feel alive, feel normal, we can put here a little window. We could put somewhere here a clock on the wall, maybe a painting painting looks pretty okay. What about the person? The person has a white background around here since I used a simple JPEG. We can correct this by going to format, remove background and we want to remove everything which is purple. This time PowerPoint was nearly perfect. I only see that mm, he also removed this part. So I'll take mark areas to keep. I want to keep this. I want to keep this, I want to keep this on the book and I definitely want her to have shoes. Now, depending how well PowerPoint does it and if I would like to be even more precise, I would also try to, well, this will be difficult because PowerPoint doesn't really see a difference between the floor and her shoes. So let's leave it like that. Keep changes. Well, this looks a bit weird, but no. Oh, and my problem is I cut off her head. So this is absolutely unacceptable that we remove the head. So I didn't see this, that this was mm, purple. Keep changes, boom, and we have the person. This is how we populated this slide to build a 2D scene. Now just imagine, we have this person, 
we would go to animations for example uh, not wipe not fade not fly mm, where is it oh yeah fly okay I want her to fly in of course from left I would normally go to the animation pane I would extend the duration and right now I would have an animation like that where she comes into the scene I could explain something during that and this is exactly what we are aiming for what we want to do I just released a course about making explainer videos in PowerPoint and what I thought you hear in, in this tutorial is applied for example in this animation. I made an animation and just as before I created a scene like that just using a few books, using this person behind the desk, using more books to put around him because I wanted to show that he's very busy and then I made an animation out of it. If you are, for example, interested in making such animation, interested in my course, there will be, of course, a link in the description and probably also in the exclamation mark in the corner. For now, this is it. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. I wanted to show you with this tutorial how you can make a simple 2D scene without having any ideas, literally by creating one background color, one floor color, populating with a few items and you are ready to go. Your 2D scene would be built. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in other of those tutorials 